guys, what's going on guys, it's me Bano Plays. welcome to a brand new video where today I'm going to be doing another tutorial on how to make a, um, what is it, auto smelter. So this, this should be about everything you need I think, yeah, so, yeah you can make this like as many furnaces as long as you want, it's just, yeah, since I've been creative I'm going to make it eight, um, one, two, three, four. This also works on both Java and this works on both Java edition and Pocket edition. So, well, Pocket edition better rock, which is better rock, which is Windows 10, PE, Xbox, PS4, Nintendo Switch. You guys get it. So after you do that, what you want to do is take your hoppers. So for the first one, you want to crouch, jump, place it, then just crouch and place the rest. Why does he keep disappearing for something? So once you do that, it should look something like this. Okay. Next up, you want to place like this, and then uh, you want to place it like that on one of the sides, and like this on the other. So yeah, the redstone lamp is optional, it's just I like having it. So just okay. So that empty oh god empty gap you left, put the redstone lamp there. Whoops, not there. I'm gonna put the lever right there. Then crouch, place the power rail on this side. Crouch, place the power rail on this side. Place the rest of the rails in. Whoops. Once you did that, it should be looking something like this. Then what you want to do on this side is just go in the back, build up two blocks, get your redstone torch. Go right here. Now it should power that one, so yeah. Or you could put the redstone torch there, but then the minecart may fly off that or something, I don't know. So I just have it like that. So yeah, that's done. Now you want to make the collection system. So you wouldn't actually have to make this collection system. You could just like go manually and grab it, but, but for the tutorial, I'm going to actually make the collection system. Go dig this out. Alright, sweet. Now that I've dug that out, I'm gonna dig this out. Yeah, sorry about it. I watched the um, kitchen tutorial and the sound was pushed back behind. I'm sorry about that. I hope you guys don't mind about that. It was weird. I don't know what happened, so. Yeah. Alright, okay, now. Oh, God. Whoops. No, I don't want it like that. Do that, crouch, do that, there you go. Wait, how did I do this before? God, I'm breaking stuff. I've done this before, how did I do it before? No. God, I'm placing hoppers everywhere. Right, I literally have the mouse hovered right there. How is it? Oh, okay. this is confusing. Oh, right, then I guess we're gonna have to do this. Oh, wait, but that's pretty easy, anyways. So. Yeah, so I could have swore you could place it on there and then whatever. It's fine. This works perfectly fine. So, got again. I got. I got. I need to stop doing that. Do that. Then just. God, what is this doing? Oh, right, there. Now, oh, we still need those hoppers. Now you, what you want to do is take the chest, yeah, you want to put, take the chest right here, and crouch, do that, and boom. The collection system is done. This thing is basically done. Of course, you want to add some ladders here so you can get in and out. So, yeah. 
Yeah, and once you finish this thing, all you gotta do is just listen to your minecart with Hopper here. And this basically works with anything. Like, I'm gonna get some food and some ore. Let's get some. Oh, yeah, right. I gotta fill these things up. There's eight of them. Okay, the. Okay, let's go ahead and fill these up. Could I just shove these in here? Whoops, I don't want to put redstone lamps in there. Wait, why is it a Minecraft with Hopper? Whoops. Goofed. I goofed. It's not a Minecraft with Hopper you want. Alright, nope, that does not work with the colon. Unfortunately, that's not what you want. You want a Minecraft with chest. What the heck? Mm. Right there. Now I got the right thing I need. Not the stupid Minecraft with Hopper. Just put that in. So, unfortunately, it does not work with putting, like, coal in the bottom, which is kind of annoying. Actually, not really. It isn't that much work, depending on the size. Like, as long as you just put at least maybe a stack of coal in there, I guess. Or half a stack, I think. You won't have to fill it for a while. I would not put lava in because it'll just you 100 blocks, and if you want to smelt something, come back later to smelt something else, then there's going to be no fuel left in there. Because, you know, I can't put, like, a stack of lava buckets in there, so. Now I filled it up with coal. Let's test this out. Let's grab some, I guess, gold ore. And now, put that up there. Let's also get some food. Let's get some. Whoops. Let's get some. Pork chops. Right there. Now that we've done. So yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll show you guys how it works. Open. I mean, you guys should know. That if I just put all this in here. And hit this, it'll send it all off. Yeah, one of them may have a little bit more than the other, but it's fine. It'll just keep going until you turn it off. Because I don't want to turn it off. Yes, yeah, so it just keeps getting pushed back and forth. So, yeah, it's a pretty easy smelter design. I mean, I know you got blast furnaces and smokers, but they take. If you don't have much coal, I mean, they, well, I mean, they take up a lot of coal, but. This can be used for anything, like, Blast Furnace, you can't put sand in it. Blast Furnace is just only for gold and iron. Then Smoker's only for food, and then, it, like, if, if you want, just, if you want just straight up skip making the Smoker and Blast Furnace, just make this, because then, because then you can smelt your ores in this, your food, your, your sand to make glass, you can smelt literally anything. It's, it's not like you gotta have your furnace, your blast furnace, and your smoker, or just a single furnace, and then it would take forever, so. If you just make this, and you could just skip the blast furnace and smoker, then. Yeah. So that's pretty nice. I wonder if this thing is. Let's go turn that off. Oh, it's the last thing. Yeah, so then all of it goes into the hoppers and right on into this chest. We already got a stack of gold in there. So yeah. Although the last furnace will probably still be a little bit quicker. Well, like I said, it's just for everything. Like again, why would you want to have one blast furnace, one smoke, and one furnace? Just do this if you have tons of iron hoppers, but yeah. But yeah, if you're doing good in your Minecraft world, you don't I'm gonna have to have a furnace, a smoker, a blast furnace. Just make this for it'll work for everything. Like I said, ores, food, and anything else. So, or well, anything of this multiple items. So, yeah, that's basically it for this tutorial. Turn that off. I think it's empty now. Yeah, it's empty. Let's see, how much is actually in there? A stack in 39 lot. I just checked it like a minute or two. I just checked it like a minute ago and I had a stack now. So yeah, this thing is pretty quick with 8 furnaces. But yeah, if you do 8 furnaces, you'll need 16 hoppers. If you do 7 furnaces, you'll need 7 hoppers. Not 7, 14, because for the bottom ones. Well, like I said, you don't need the bottom ones. It's just, yeah. Same with this redstone lamp.
Um, I'm just gonna take out the gold. I'm gonna show you guys the food now. I mean, you guys already get it, how it's gonna work. Uh, if you guys are wondering, Malik's already got his Elytra on the multiplayer survival server. He made a video on it without me because I had to go somewhere, so I couldn't make the video with him, so... Either way, I was gonna do my video when I got mine. Why would I make a video on him getting his? So... Just load that in there. See, so yeah, it works completely fine. Look how much gold I there was in there before. I took out the gold, so... Yeah, really good smelter, would recommend. So yeah, and also this will work if you're not playing with 1.14 or above, I'm pretty sure. Because in 1.14 there's no blast messages or smokers. So... Yeah, but either way, this is the smelter design. That I actually came up with the smelter design, so yeah. I was actually testing some smelter designs off camera, and this is the one that seemed to work the best, so yeah. Yeah, I think it works pretty well. Like, straight up. Yeah, I think it works pretty well. I don't know about you guys, but... Go ahead and shut that off. I think that's empty now, right? Oh, there's still someone. Alright, send it back off. That's already got us. Bob, what are you doing here? Mama, get out of the way. Mama. What are you, what are you doing here, Bob? I told you not to come here. Don't mind, Bob. Let's just do what the clear time set zero. Sweet. Yeah, so this is my smelter design, and I hope you guys actually like this design. Like, I think it's a pretty good design, so let's go see how much. Oh god, already? <laughs> Stacking 26? Yeah. So, yeah, for the, yeah, you could use this to smelt fuel, so, like, mm. so, yeah, I've got, um, some other tutorials coming here, there's a cooked beef farm, Wait, well, it's cooked, these are both cooked, but, if you don't do one of the steps, it'll be raw, then you can just use that smelter to cook all of it, so, yeah. As with the cow farm, it will not just get you food, it'll also get you leather for your max power enchantment table if you haven't got one already, so. Well, that pretty much concludes it for today's video. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, smash that like button. Subscribe for post notifications. Follow me on Instagram down below. And, yeah. Oh, God. Why am I watching so weirdly? It's me, Bane Plays. Out. Good.